You're coming back to 947. So checking in, obviously, multiple parishes to find out the impact of Francine, uh, the biggest parish, most populated in the area, EBR. So let's get a check live in studio. Mayor President Sharon Wesson Broom joining us in studio with an overnight assessment of the biggest impacts here in EBR. Thank you for your time this morning. Oh. Yes, glad to be here to share the outcomes. <laughs> Speaking of the outcome, EBR mm -hmm. largely spared when it comes to loss of life, loss mm -hmm. of the major damage here, but there are still some impacts we're following, yes. including debris. Yeah, absolutely. I am counting our blessings this morning uh, in terms of the impact was certainly minimal against the backdrop of what we initially thought, uh, but we do know that our uh, team, which I'm extremely grateful for, our sure. DPW team, uh, they were out all night. So for example, we know that there were about 34 uh, trees that were down. Well, as of right now, they have uh, moved those moved 23 of those 34. So that's because they were act, uh, working actively throughout the night. And so uh, we do know that there are a few trees that are still down that have um, uh, power lines that are there. So that is a little bit more complicated in terms of uh, removal. Uh, we do know that we have about 24 street lights uh, that are completely out, about 24 that are, are flashing. And uh, the good report is as of now, as of this moment, we have no flooding reported. Uh, so that is certainly good. We will be uh, having a conversation, a meeting. Um, uh, Intergy is holding a conference call uh, real soon, and so we will uh, get an update. But right now, there are about uh, 12,450 Intergy customers uh, that are without power and about 500 Demco. That's part of the conversation you're already having. You're literally on the, like, as she's walking out here on the phone Sounds with the director minute. of MOSEP, the Mayor's Office of Homeland yeah. Security Emergency Preparedness. And so those conversations continue. Yes. But to your point, EBR, uh, again, kind of uh, skirted the worst yes. uh, uh, of the yes. issues. A little bit of power outage, a little bit of trees down, that kind of a thing. We know trash pickup is beginning again. Yes. Uh, city parish offices are going to start to reopen. Yes, tomorrow. 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 Okay. Uh, I will say uh, we had a meeting this morning at MOSEP, our um, 7.30 briefing. Mm -hmm. And as a result of what we have seen overnight, we're going to continue to do inspections. Uh, but we are going to demobilize the full activation of uh, MOSEP. Uh, we will still have a crisis action team in place. Place, uh, but we're going to let all of those 35 agencies who have been so faithful in help, helping us overnight uh, go back to their respective uh, offices and, and do the work from there. So we are going to demobilize uh, MOSEP. And it helps not calling in city parish employees today right. to make sure yes. that we can get these, these roads cleaned up to Absolutely. avoid any accidents that we're seeing here yes. today. All right, Mayor Broom, thank you for that update today. Thank you, and I look forward to keeping the lines of communication open. Always, well, yeah, she's literally talking with people as she wants to. Back in a moment.